And this is a big piece of breaking news coming in, ladies and gentlemen. Repolling has been ordered in over 600 booths in West Bengal just a day after the panchayat elections, which was marred by violence. Now, repolling has been ordered in over 600 booths. What we are learning is that repolling has been ordered in 175 booths in Murshidabad alone. 29 booths in Hooghly will go for polls again. 112 booths in Malda will go for repolling. 89 booths in Nadia. 46 booths in North 24 Parganas. 31 booths in Purba Mednipur. And 36 booths in South 24 Parganas. These uh, repolling, this repolling in over 600 booths in West Bengal because of the violence that marred the panchayat election. This will take place tomorrow. I'm joined by my colleague Kamalika Sen Gupta, who's getting us this big piece of breaking news. Uh, remember, Kamalika, political violence seems synonymous with West Bengal. And now we are back to the drawing board when it comes to understanding the result of the panchayat elections with repolling in over 600 booths across the state. Yeah, absolutely. That is one good thing which is at least at least sum up because there's all these allegations are against state election commission. So the state election, the opposition is putting pressure on state election commission. All the parties, BJP, Congress, CPIM, they're putting immense pressure on the state election commission. So this is one way that they will try to show that, okay, fine, if there is a problem, they're trying to do a repoll. And more than 600 booths, like if you remember, the TMC's version yesterday was the problem took place in and around 600 booths. So this 600, a little more than 600 booths, that is very interesting. The number is very interesting. The districts like Murshidabad, which is very violent, there 175 booths will have the polling. And also there, you know, Kujbihar, there is, uh, there is, there is, repo Kujbihar, there is no repoll. You know, what the, the least which we have got, Kujbihar is a place where, uh, where maximum violence took place. So there till now we don't see any repolling. So what is the, the situation on ground, what happens on Monday, that is really to be seen. Adit Chaudhary, the President of Congress, Bengal President of Congress, has already written a letter to the State Election Commission to provide proper security in the repolling. So whether he is going to give up proper security, how things remain tomorrow, that is something to be seen. On the other hand, the Governor has rushed, rushed to Delhi. So he is expected to support a report on the poll violence, that is also a very interesting point which, which needs to be followed. Another interesting point which I would like to stress is that uh, still central forces are coming. You know, uh, 649 central forces came and the residue of, of from that 822 company, they'll be coming today and tomorrow. So they have to look after the counting, re poll and even 10 days to that. The poll is over, the central force drama is there. The DSF and the state forces are alleging each other like the state and central government, uh, state and central government. So a very different, uh, a very different um, political pulse. And, and this definitely is going to have immense impact on 2024. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's complete chaos when it comes to the panchayat elections in West Bengal. Thank you, Kamalika, for joining us for that piece of breaking news. Repolling tomorrow, over 600 booths go for repolling again uh, as the political war of words are only escalating in West Bengal.